I've been head of e-commerce for these brands here, so Harrods, Ted Baker, Burberry, and Pentland Brands, so I've got quite good client-side experience. Uh, last year, I authored a best practice report called Delivering Successful E-Commerce Projects for the Chaps at E-Consultancy. At the moment, I'm writing one on in the internationalization of e-commerce, which is quite a challenge, but everybody's now looking at that. Most multi-channel retailers are now thinking about how they can internationalize. I run e-commerce surgeries and masterclasses at shop.org in the US, e-commerce expo in London, and luckily for me, for the first time this summer, I'm going to Australia, where I'm going to be running a masterclass at their online retailer. And I'm very proud to say that they have asked me to be the international judge in their inaugural online awards. First of all, I think about self-service customers. I'm a self-service customer. I walk into a store, someone asks me if they can give me some help. Don't ask me why, it always puts my back up. I don't know why, it's just the way I am. And I say, no, thank you very much, I'll find it myself. Off I go merrily, trotting around the shop. Invariably, I end up not being able to find what I'm looking for. So I come back, embarrassed at that point, and ask for some assistance. How would you cater for my needs online? Well, as is the case here with ASOS, who are uh, a very successful online pure play, I'm sure most of you know, uh, they have really nice faceted search. So if I search for jeans or go into the denim or jean category, I've got pretty much every possible option there for narrowing down my choice by price, by size, by brand, by fit, by style. Now that's the same as me walking into a store if they had one and somebody saying, can I help you? And me saying, yep, I'm after a pair of jeans. Sure, come with me, they're over here. What style? Is there a particular brand you're after? Are you price driven? Is it a fit issue? They might not ask me if it was a fit issue, but you know, they would probably use those other criteria to help me filter down my choice. I would then take the three pairs of jeans that were right for me, try them on and go and buy one. Retailers are really guilty of forgetting the gift buyer. You know, they think about them once a year, basically. Oh, peak period, it's Christmas, let's put up a gift category. That's great. Well, you know, I'm pretty sure that every single person sitting here has a birthday. So in which case, we probably all get gifts at some point during the year. So, you know, it's a good opportunity that most retailers would stand to benefit from that. And yet online, there's an awful lot of things that are missing from a gift buying point of view. I really like showing this example. This is Cowshed. If you don't know them, they're a small cosmetic, online cosmetics business. You know, if you fly Virgin Atlantic at any point, you'll probably find their toiletries and the facilities there. Um, they cater really well for gift buyers. The thing I th they do that I like the best is, is this bit here. If you go onto a retailer's site at Christmas, a retailer will say to you, here's our gift sets. You can buy that one, that one, or that one. That's the products that you get. You get three products in that one, four in that, and five in that. You don't have any choice over it. That's your gift set, take it or leave it. They say you choose. You choose which products and how many of those you want to go in your gift set. How simple is that? It really is a no-brainer, but it's incredibly, incredibly effective from a conversion perspective.